That's what every college students do. <laughs> As usual, Americano. Okay. wrong with him? Is he sick or something? Shh. Don't shush me. He's the one making the problem. Hey, freak. You're making so much noise. Talk to me now. This is a library. Never liked the library, and you know that. Mm -hmm. Shh. Maybe when you see the dream of me, and when you're awake. Think of me, I need to know How do you feel? Hey Alex, do you have a moment? I want to talk to you Um, do you know that I'm the president of English club, right? Yeah Yeah, great, just um, Mr. Hubert saw your name on the participant list for the poetry contest And he's glad, me too but you do know that every participant has to present their poem in front of people, right? I mean, public speaking. It's a compulsory agenda. Yes, I, I know. Oh, so you're okay with that? I mean, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can just tell me. I can talk to Mr. Hubert to let you find another person to recite your poem. And I truly think that your poem is really nice. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, oh. I'll think about that. Okay, just text me if you have any thought, okay? I have another class, so bye!
you're back. How was your day? Have you eaten? If you're hungry, the food is on the table. What are you thinking? I think I should just text Teresa and to quit the competition. What? Are you serious? You know I can't do public speaking, Sarah. If I do, they will notice that I'm different. You're missing the whole point of the competition. The important thing is the poetry writing, not the public speaking. The presentation is just a small part of it. You may not be good at talking, but you're incredibly good at writing. It's an undeniable fact. You don't understand, Sarah. Well, I just don't get why you're trying to hide your talents. Even Teresa knows that your poem is great. She did not mean that. Will you stop doubting yourself for a second, Alex? Sarah, it's not easy to be like a person like me. I don't want to be not a joke. You're never a joke. I am. I'm the biggest joke my mom could ever have. She loves you, Alex. That's because she got no other choice. Listen to yourself. How dare you doubt her love towards you? You're being pathetic and ridiculous. You have no place to talk to me like that. Why not? Because you're the one who's making me suffer. Are you out of your mind? Are you trying to fight me? You're just hurting yourself, moron! You fight with Sarah again? You shouldn't have fight with her. She's my best friend. You have told me she is a kid. Where are okay, mom? Where are you find? What now? Can we have a peace deal? About what? Let's talk about the presentation. I don't want another fight, so bye. I'll buy your machine. Hmm. Doesn't sound too bad, so go on. I'm listening. Could you not appear during the presentation? Excuse me? So you're basically asking me to get lost? No, no. You know what I mean. I really want to do my best in the presentation. Please. You know how good this opportunity would be? In my poem? will get to be published in the literature book by the famous writer Jack Cole. I'll think about it. Sarah, please. You know I can't just disappear because you want me to, right? I'll try my best to stay focused and I will not let my anxiety get into my nerves and everything will be alright, right? That's not what I meant. What do you mean then? I mean... Two milkshakes. <laughs> I've seen a lot in my life I've seen two wrongs make a right When everything was crashing I know that you got your plans You're always taking your stand But I was only A round of applause to number six. Thank you so much. And let's welcome number seven, Alex.
I mean, it's better than expected. I'm sure you did great. You always underestimate yourself. Hopefully. But it was a great experience. Let's go then. To where? Hello, my milkshake. I mean, milkshakes. <laughs> Two milkshakes. Alright. The suffer were not just any. It conquers to every part of me. The guardian that appeared by my side never appeared in the other side. No one could see her, but she is always there. It grew stronger day by day, as it already become my everyday. Why do I act this way? She is the one who control. All I want is to escape. Pushing others out of space. The treats was never to meant to say sorry. No matter how, she is still the guardian that created by me, living together in my mind, and it's God's greatest gift.